Hi there, this is Rob from Reason101.net and I'm here to show you part two of um, creating some parallel processing of your effects. Um, so before, uh, what we did was we created three different effects units that are tied to these rotaries here. And then you've got the original mix on the fourth rotary. So now we're going to open up the, um, the device or um, we're going to show the programmer. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little programming here. So on the original bypass, which is the second mixer, we're going to take uh, button four and we're going to take channel one muting. Um, and that's going to be tied to the enable button. Then on the tone submixes, we're going to change all these button assignments to button four. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take um, channel one mute channel 2 mute, channel 3 mute, and channel 4 mute. And we're going to change this to be 1 to be the minimum, 0 to be the maximum on all of them. So that will enable our button. So when we press the button, when we keep the button unlit, uh, the only thing that's going to be put through it is going to be this original mix or the original audio. When we hit the enable button, all of these uh, four different outputs which are tied to these four rotaries are going to be audible. So that's our enable button. Um, the other thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tie the rotaries to the actual levels. So up here rotary 1 is going to be tied to channel 2's level. Rotary 3 or rotary 2 is going to be tied to channel 3 level. Rotary 3 to channel 4 and rotary 4 to channel 1. And then we're going to bring the maximum values on all of these down to about 100. Well, down to exactly 100. And I also forgot to tell you that before you bring all of your different effects into your combinator, um, remember when we were down here, we would select a combinator, and then we put search through the browser, we'd find a different um, type of effect that we liked. Um, before you take all the devices out of the effect and pull it into your combinator, what you might want to do is test the sound through, um, just give it a test and, and dial in the values that you want before you copy it. Because when you dial them all in, you're gonna, you want to find the sound that you really want to get out of your combinator because dialing in those sounds later on is a little bit more tedious. So before you um, go in and show the devices and copy all your devices from inside the combinator, just play around with the settings on it and audition it through a sound source and make sure that you have the sound exactly the way you want it before you copy it over. Okay, so back to our programming here. Uh, so we've got everything programmed the way we want it to. What we probably want to do is bring these levels down just to start off, okay. Um, maybe you want to bring the original mix up a little bit and keep the enable on. Also, go around to the back and you'll notice that the um, combinator output left and right, the jacks kind of fell out. So let's just punch them back into the mixer, go around to the front, and now we can listen to our Thor. And now we can change the sound of it. And we can use any of these devices or any combination of the devices to, um, to kind of um, affect our sound. You can put back, you can dial in the original mix. And what this does is it allows you to um, fine tune the mix of all three of these along with the original mix and they're all going to get mixed together and go out into your first channel of your main mixer. So I hope you find this useful. Um, if you like stuff like this, come visit me at uh, my website on my blog at reason101.net. Thanks a lot for listening and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.